back everyone well we've had we have been dealing with quite a lot in the weather department today the main issue well into tonight and into portions of tomorrow will be the flood threat the rain will actually light, lighten up into tonight and actually we've got some light snow on the way tomorrow but it's what's already fallen that we're really worried about into tonight and tomorrow because of the runoff you get all of this rain it goes into those creeks and streams and all of those creeks and streams feed into the river so sometimes even after the rain is stopped the river levels continue to go up and rise, so we are worried about that, especially in specific areas uh, into the overnight hours and into at least the early part of Friday. You can see by our radar rain estimate, this is what we received roughly in the past 24 hours. So it's not taking into account what we necessarily saw on Tuesday, but just in the past 24 hours, you can see these bright blues here. We're looking at two, three inch range uh, spots. We've had even more than that to our south across the Carolinas and to our east across parts of the Piedmont of Virginia. Everyone, if you're traveling through the two Virginias or into North Carolina, please be careful on the roads. We have definitely been receiving reports of high water all day today. Tazewell County, again, still our main concern, I would say. They're still under a flash flood warning for, again, the Clinch River, which is causing major issues. We could possibly have historic flooding of that river. We haven't seen levels like this since the 70s, since the 1950s. So that's why we're really concerned about parts of Tazewell County. The Clinch River right now, latest is about 12 feet. It still could crest at about 14, 15 feet before it's all said and done. It's already above flood stage, which is why we've seen some evacuations and high water issues. Now we're looking at the Tug River now in Bradshaw. This is out of McDowell County. That's the river that's causing some issues there. Uh, the latest 11, a little over 11 feet. Uh, for the Tug Fork, and that is already, again, above flood stage and rising. Now, the Greenbrier River looks to stay below the flood stage, which is good, and right now the New River isn't looking terrible. But if you're in one of those low-lying areas around the Greenbrier, around the New, still keep your wits about you. We've got flood warnings out for everyone except for portions of Raleigh, Fayette, and Pocahontas County. So, again, if you live along the Bluestone, the Tug, the Greenbrier, the New, just keep your wits about you. Be careful to move to higher ground should something happen with that runoff overnight tonight. We're watching the situation for that. So a flood watch will continue, especially along and east of I-77. They dropped it now west since that heavy rain's come to an end, but it will continue for those eastern counties through tomorrow. And that's not the only weather, weather hazard we're worried about. Very active weather ahead. Again, we've seen a lot of storm reports today just from high water. We can actually see some tornado reports to the south and while we're not looking at anything on that caliber, it's still going to get kind of gusty as we head into tomorrow and that concerns me because the ground is so wet. Gust occasionally 25 to 30 to 35 miles an hour. That's all you need through the day tomorrow to take down a tree because that soil is just so wet and the root systems have become compromised. So the power outage risk will actually, I'm thinking, go up into tonight and tomorrow so we can see more power outages starting to pop up in addition to some flooding threats. The third threat we have to worry about, although not as major, a little snow comes in for the weekend. In fact, we're going to see that as early as tomorrow morning. Again, the rain will be kind of on and off tonight, still watching for more flooding issues. The rain starts to lighten up, though. By sunrise tomorrow morning, we're in the 30s and snow is falling. We could actually see some snow squalls that would limit visibility. Now, the road should stay okay because the ground's pretty warm, but by tomorrow night, temperatures will be dropping again, and we could have some slick spots develop into Saturday Another system actually coming in for Saturday, but snow vents or snow totals don't look impressive. Generally one to three inches across our western facing slopes. And again, some of that's going to melt on contact, but you got to be aware that we're staying active well into the weekend. We go from the flood threat to the wind threat to possibly that snow threat into Saturday. Mel, Melinda, or Mel, Mel I did it again. 